Hi, welcome to another GIMP 2.10 tutorial. My name is Eddie, and I'm going to show you how to create this false scenery. And I posted this in Google Plus, and I wanted to show you how to create this. And you don't have to be uh, an advanced, you could be a beginner. All you have to do is follow this easy step. And the first thing we're going to do, we're going to go to File, New, and create a new image 1920 by 1080. And then we want to change the foreground and the background colors so for the foreground uh, we're going to use ff6700 and for the background uh, we're going to use uh, ffbe62 uh, and then Select the gradient tool, go to the option, and make sure that uh, the gradient is FG to BG, RGB. And for the shape, make sure it's linear. Come to the top of the canvas and just click on the top of the canvas once. And then press and hold the control button and drag down. And we have our gradient. Press into to accept. And then we're going to place the center guideline so it can help us place the sun in the middle. So go to view and crosshair guides. After that, let's change the foreground color. This time we're going to change it to FFF uh, E96. And we're going to add a new layer on top of the background and name this one uh, Brightness. And then select the brush tool. And we're going to select the Harness 100 brush. And for the size, we're going to make it 1600 pixel. And change the aspect ratio to 0.5 and come to the canvas and we're going to use the side rule right here uh, to place the middle of the brush so we're going to place it on about the 700 on the, on the ruler just click once okay and then we're going to filter and we're going to apply uh, blur so go filter blur Gaussian blur and we want to pick up a, high, a pretty high uh, amount of pixel here, 200 pixel for the X and the Y. And just click OK. After that, add a new layer on top of the brightness and name this one uh, Sun Glow. Go to the foreground and change the foreground again. And we're going to change it to uh, let's uh, say FFB CC0 FFB CC0 and then uh, select the brush tool again and we're going to leave the same brush harness 100 and we're going to change the size this time to this brush to 800 pixel and the aspect ratio we're going to make back to the default mode so click on this uh, icon right here, reset aspect ratio, and we'll go back to zero. And then come to the same place that you uh, clicked before on the 700 pixel using the vertical guideline and just uh, click once. Then go to filters, and right here you're going to find Gaussian blur again. So we're going to use Gaussian blur, so click on reshow. And now we're going to make this one 100 pixel. Okay, and click OK. All right. Now add in another new layer on top. And this one we're going to name it Sun. And we're going to use the same brush. Now let's uh, change the uh, foreground once more and this time we're going to pick, uh, make 
555 5PB. Okay. And then we're going to use the same brush, Harness 100, size 800. We're going to leave the same size. And again, click on the 750 mark using the vertical guideline. Just click once. And we have our sun, and we have that glow on top of the sun, or around the sun. <clears throat> now, uh, we're going to uh, create a new layer. Okay, and we're going to name this one ground. Okay, we're going to make the ground, we're going to right here on the bottom. So, uh, change the foreground for this back to black. Just change it to black. And then we're going to use the Harness 075 brush. And we're going to make the size 120 pixels for this one. And then click on the bottom. Right here on the bottom left uh, corner, I might say. And press and hold the shift button on your keyboard. And just drag across the other side and click OK. And we can you know, we make that straight uh, line. Now we're going to grow some grass here, so uh, what we're going to do, we're going to uh, add another new layer and name this one grass. And we're going to change the foreground and the background again. So for the foreground, we want to make it uh, 956A00. And for the background, make it uh, 480 uh, C00. Okay. And what we're going to do, we're going to pick up the brush. Uh, uh, the name of the brush is called, uh, let me see, right here Grass Brush Animated Number One. <coughs> And the size of this brush is going to be, uh, let's make it 80 pixel. Okay. <clears throat> and then we're going to, to use the dynamic brush. So uh, you can use this. Usually I create a tab on top of here or on top where the uh, uh, options are. So it's be easy to read. So we're going to use uh, random size and color. And what we're going to do here, we're going to go to the ground. And, and the surface on the ground, we're going to uh, trace uh, or paint our grass. You know, So the tip of the grass will be showing only. Now, you don't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be perfect if you have you know, the, the ground is not even. Uh, I mean, the, the grass, most of them, in some places, they're not even, so it's okay. Don't be scared. Uh, don't get too far up. Just trying to make it on the line. And do half first, and then do the other half. Go to up to the guideline and, you know, keep going. And keep going, you know, you can, you know, do it as fast. And if you are, if you are experienced, you can do it as fast as you can here. And, and you know. When you satisfy on one side, you know, and you can do the other side, it would be easier uh, to make one side and the other because you don't have to go across so so you know so long distance to make this. And see, like I did here, you know, some places are higher than the other one. It's okay. Uh, you're not gonna. I'm not gonna judge you for that. So once you think that is. But it's okay and you know you're ready then uh, go to the layers uh, li dialog and for the blend mode we're going to select uh, linear burn all right we had that uh, heating 
on this, you know, we have the silhouette of the grass, but we got the tip, and the tip has a little bit of color uh, of the atmosphere or the of the sun uh, light. So after that, we're going to create another new layer, and this new layer we're going to name it uh, tree. Okay, and we're going to use a tree uh, brush, so go to the brush uh, dialog, <coughs> select the big tree dark, because that's the one with the silhouette, and after that, uh, go back to the dynamics and make sure that you have, you have it back on the default mode, pressure, opacity, like that, we don't have that uh, bouncing brush. Okay, <clears throat> and what we're going to do, we're going to place the sun somewhere. You can do it on either side, left or right. Um, I'm going to place it right in this side. Uh, try not to make it in the, in the middle so we can have a bit more the sun showing, uh, the sunset showing. So I'm going to place it just about uh, right here. Uh, make sure that you have it like in between, I mean, the, the tip of the grass and the uh, bottom uh, part of the canvas. So I'm gonna place it just right there. Click once, and we have our tree. Now uh, we're going to place some people, so add a new layer on top, and name this one uh, people, or couple, whatever you want to name it. And I'm gonna select the couple number two brush, silhouette. Uh, and you can place it any way you want. I'm going to place mine right on the middle, again, between the tip of, tip of the grass and the bottom of the canvas. Uh, I'm going to place it right here. So I'm going to click once and have my couple. Now uh, select the ground layer and add a new layer on top and name this one leaves or falling leaves. You can name it too. And what we're going to do, we're going to select the brush, small autumn leaves. It's an animated brush. And we're going to uh, make the size 25 pixels. And for the spacing, we're going to change it to 500. And again, go to the dynamics. <clears throat> change the dynamics to random size and angle this time. And after that, come to the canvas. And just uh, what I'm going to do, and you can do it, just, uh, just brush around the bottom of the tree right here. And some of the grass, a little bit on the grass. And around the couple. Uh, so it will look like. Uh, the falling leaves are falling over them too, okay? So, just, you don't have to have a lot, you know, just a few here and there. So, I'm satisfied with that. Whatever you satisfy, don't overdo it, you know? Uh, we still got some leaves on the tree. So uh, now what we're going to do now, we're going to change the color a little bit of this because they're a little bit too bright. So go to color and choose level. And okay, on the level, we're going to use the, what they call the gamma right here, the middle input, and just make it a little bit less, Let's make it, uh, let's see. Let's make it 30, 0 0.30, 0 0.30. And just click OK. All right. And that's about it. I mean, you can. Uh, add some, you know, birds. If you have birds brush, brushes, uh, I'm gonna add some of that. Uh, let me see if I have them here. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna add this 
kind, but before I do that, I got to uh, make sure that my dynamic is back on the default mode opacity, so I don't have the brush jumping, and I'm going to place my birds right here. So that's about it for this tutorial. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you learned something from, from this tutorial. And I'm going to see you next time for another uh, new and easy tutorial in GIMP 2.10.